this plane's CFG. With a seaplane takeoff float, you want it somewhere in front of the step so that when it's planing and at speed, it can sit level on the water like that. But if you have it too far forwards, it won't work. And if you have it behind the step, it won't work. It'll be like that. If you have your CFG behind the step, it'll be like that. So you have it just a bit forwards, like that. The floats are attached. I'm going to go in there at an angle, something like that, to get the hinge into the meaty bit. With, personally, I like five-minute epoxy, and I'll glue that in. See you shortly. Okay, there you go. Something like that. It was a existing V-wing plane, which I got existing floats and stuck them together. Like a factory-made plane and a factory-made set of floats stuck together. And this has got folding wings. Hey again, how's it going? Fun here. I've been very busy with uh, another variation of the idea for uh, flying car boat. Here's where I'm up to. I'm just roughly holding this together. It's loose, rough tape, but I just want to deconstruct what I'm doing and show you what, I'm, what I've done and what I'm going to be doing. Here's the tail, just loosely held in place. There are the wings, just in place. The top is loosely held in place. Watch. Okay, so now I'm removing the tail plane because that was just loosely taped together, temporary. So this tail plane I'm put in, I'm going to be putting in uh, reinforcing rods along the length of this pontoon. And to do that, all I did was I cut a channel very carefully using a craft knife, very carefully, and not cutting towards myself. I cut a groove or a channel in there, and I'm going to glue that in, and then the out a bit of the tailplane will set here, the vertical fin. Um, up here, these are going to have carbon rods, carbon fiber rods. They're going to go like that. They're going to join in the centre. And uh, I'll get back to you when I've done a bunch more of it. So look, one, one folding wing. And the other folding wing. That's the idea, anyway. Um, finally, here we go with um, another model. Folding wings, as you can see. To my ears watch again. I just pull against the magnets until it releases. And bring that out, and there's my canopy. On another vid earlier, I showed you the, um, the folding uh, retractable wheels. There we go with the retractable wheels. So I just want to show you one or two other things. Um, the, 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 the wheel system I'm using, look. I also have folding uh, wings and folding wheels. The wheels are retracted at the moment, but they're actually electronically activated with servos. So, so about a year ago, I did a bunch of work on what's supposed to be a flying car boat with foldable wings. So this is just very early stage. This is the work so far. Look, the folding system is meant to be like this. For the wings, okay. And obviously, same over there. So if I just lift these off now, you can see. So here's where I'm up to so far with the flying car boat. I just want to show you a few of the ideas and building techniques that I've used here. So first of all, the wings are supposed to be um, foldable. Let me demonstrate that. And this piece here, this center piece is removable as well. I just want to show you the construction. But first of all, I'm just going to show you. There's a carbon fibre rod, which is removable, which goes through, and at each end, 
fits into a little piece of aluminium which I've affixed into position. Flying car boat, my own design. In the wings folded up mode. Obviously, look, these are all upside down at the moment. They're, they're, they're standing on their noses in the workshop. Watch. If I remove this. And again, there will be a carbon fibre rod going through the back of all of these through a rod or channel there. The carbon fibre rod will go across. And here is a folding canopy top. Again, folding wings here. When these rubber bands are removed, it folds across this line here. And it's got um, foldable wheels as well. Down there. So about a year ago, I started work on a tandem wing boat. There it is so far. But I believe I'm going to replace these side uh, floats or pontoons, whatever you want to call them, side fuse larges. I believe they're too short. I'm going to put a centre section which needs a little bit more meat to hold everything together. So I'm going to make these deeper. And here is the story so far with the Gunther Jorg style tandem wing boat. So I cut these sides off, the side pontoons or whatever you want to call them, fuselages, pontoons. I made them longer, replaced them longer. And I've done this system here. I'll just give you a look at that. And the idea that I'm going with here is that this is going to give me a nice big surface area for my step. But I'm keeping the actual area, the wind resistance, much lower by not doing a full third piece here. Say hello to the workshop cat, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Puss, puss. Good girl. So, there is one tea tail attached. I sanded the rail and I sanded the front and extended it as well. But I wanted to show, I used basically the same technique of hot gluing on balsa wood, which has got a, a sharpened piece there and a sharpened piece there. And for extra safety, I got a large barbecue skewer, very large, the largest one that you can get, I think. And I stuffed it in there as well as glue. Okay, here's a real quick vid of the Gunther Jorg style, Gunther Jorg inspired tandem wing model half painted. Here we are, half an hour or an hour later. Very pleased with that. The um, Gunther Jorg inspired tandem wing. No canopy on it, no motor on it, no servos yet. However, I've completed the elevator and the rudder, but just without any connections. So I want to just show you the techniques I've been using with this. I have the um, over here in Greece, we've got it Macato Carta, um, five mil, and it's got paper on the outside, kind of modeling card. You can see here I used the hinge, and then I covered it with a little bit of plastic and the beloved hot glue. It's a little bit heavy, but it makes for a very, very strong system. Here is a hinge, complete with a control horn. Uh, and I did a little slice in the covering plastic here to go around the rudder horn. Complete with variations of my own. Like Gunther Jorgs didn't have a horizontal tailplane. There is a um, one meter ruler to give you an idea of scale. Story so far, the plywood pieces that I made, I should have used two of them plywood and string technique failed. So I made a bunch of 3D printed pieces myself in SketchUp. Two of them at 15 degrees, two of them at 40 degrees. I'm going to use them instead. I haven't glued this into the channel yet. So, so the support has got glue on it. And there we go. It's taped glued and clamped. So about a year ago I started work on a reverse delta wing and ground effect craft. 
bit of a scary point where I cut the center section away so that I can have a good think about what way I want to do my central fuselage piece. And incidentally, this is based on a much smaller model that I made. And you see this Velcro here for putting different weights on. This actually flew quite well. Here I am the next day with the reverse Delta style flyer. And I have attached a carbon fiber rod to this other carbon fiber rod and attached it at the back down there. Okay, my gluing's a little bit untidy, but it should be very functional. And uh, this comes right out the front, which I'm going to need to provide sufficient uh, weight with the battery up front because I'm going to have to have a CFG about here. So shortly, I'm going to shape this side panel to come in at the nose and in at the back. But that's, that's it before it's been put in. Okay. So I'll get the heat gun out and I'll do two sides. And uh, hopefully that'll give me a nice result. Let's see. Okay, here we are the next day. Let me talk you through where we're up to with this craft so far. Just before I talk about that, here on the 3D printer, I am making what I call a cross brace for the craft, which is going to fit here and here. See, that's not actually glued in yet. So there we go. The canopy is 90% finished now. I'm very, very pleased with the results of that. This is a reverse Delta Craft based upon the work of Alexiev and Lipish. <laughs>